that was heavy. I just brought up this mirror from the basement. I'm going to be using it here on this wall as I decorate my entrance and the front door for Halloween. I hope you will stay tuned and watch the whole video. I'm using some new pieces this year, some a little crazy, so I hope you come along. So here's the mirror that I just brought up from the basement and I put that in place. I used this last Halloween as well, as well as Christmas time. And with that, we also have the pedestal here and I'll show you how I dress that all up for Halloween. On top of my pedestal, I have this great black and gold Harlequin patterned napkin. It is a napkin that matches the runner that I've used in my living room for Halloween this year. I've simply placed this really great looking pumpkin on top of this little pedestal here and I'm going to dress him up now. We're all ready for the masquerade ball. What I've done was I placed this really great mask, which happens to match beautifully with the napkin that I've used. I've adorned the pumpkin with a witch's hat and then put on a little bow tie, just simply made with some cardstock. So to finish off this display, I've added this great witch's broom that was purchased at Dollarama last year. They have them again this year. They're really great. They were about $4. And then as promised this fall, earlier when I was doing my fall decorating, I did say that I would be decorating with these pieces here in my entrance. So now let's move over to this door over here, which is our laundry room door. I'm going to be using some spider webbing. Let me tell you ahead of time, I do not like working with spider webbing. I do find it a bit difficult, but let me try my best for you. On my door here, I have this little hole that I've used in the past for hanging wreaths and different things. I really don't like putting holes in my doors. This is the only one I have, but I am going to take advantage of it. I'm going to put in this little finishing nail. Let's see if I can get that in there. And after I do the spider webbing, I'll be using that to hang a little spider web wreath. Here we go. That's our spider webbing there on the door. I could have used a little more, but I think I like it as is. My son did come downstairs. He's in between classes. And when he looked at it, he said, ooh, scary. So I thought, okay, perfect. We'll leave it as is. So I'll show you a closer look in a moment. But the mirror that I used to our left here, in my intro, I indicated that I used that mirror in my Halloween entryway last year. And while I was putting up this spider webbing on the door, I remembered that no, I actually use this only for Christmas, this mirror. And I actually had my usual painting there in the entrance and I covered it in spider webbing. Now, I did not do a great job last year, but I will put up a picture to show you what that looked like. And here's a closer look of the webbing and that great spider web wreath on our door with this great big orange spider. I absolutely love it. This is my front entryway rug. And although it's lovely, I'm gonna show you this really crazy new piece that I purchased and I'll tell you the story behind it. 
Is this fantabulous or what? So I discovered a woman on Facebook Marketplace who makes these rugs. Uh, I think they can also technically be used as throws on a sofa. Um, I had contacted her to order one in black and orange Harlequin pattern. Uh, she did say that um, it would be a little more expensive because she doesn't normally do the Harlequin pattern, but she was willing to do it. She did ask if it was for Halloween, and I said, yes, it's for Halloween. And she told me about this rug that was pre-made. It was ordered and half of it paid for by the customer, but the customer never showed up. She was never able to get a hold of her again. She made this last year and it was sitting in her home waiting for this customer. So the woman said to me, if I want it, it's mine and I only have to pay the remaining half. And of course I grabbed it. I think it's absolutely fantastic. So to finish off our crazy little Halloween entrance here, I made this and I'm not even certain what to call this. I took the last of my orange ribbon. I took this little paper party decoration here, some black felt, and I just made sort of this crazy little looking bow to place on my banister here and I do think it gives it a nice look, a little finished look. Um, not that this has anything to do with my Halloween decorating, but I thought I'd share with you all that this is just something that has bothered me since I've moved into the home. And so before my Christmas decorating this year, this here is going to be moved over to here where it should originally have been. As you can see, the stairs are here and what should happen is that it should wrap around and then the banister should be over here, but it is not. It's over here and you can see the ugly hardware here. Absolutely atrocious. So I will have that moved over to the other side and a very good friend of mine is a house painter i'll have her come over and just fill in those holes and paint that wall and i will feel so much better now let's go out that front door and i'll show you how i decorate the front door for halloween here we are outside. This is my front door. This is a great wreath that I purchased from Party City. And what I did was I hot glued that welcome sign to it. I'll just show you very quickly how I did that. This is the wreath and how it came. It was on sale. I simply used some hot glue. I deconstructed a sign from Dollar Tree and hot glued it to the wreath. Here we go. Imagine my delight when I found this planter on Facebook Marketplace. The seller was asking $20. I offered $10 and she took it. It has the original price tag underneath from HomeSense, which was originally $60. And I was so happy to pick it up for such an inexpensive price. It has the black and white Harlequin, which I absolutely love. That is so me. I added some flowers I already had, and I'm very, very delighted with the end result. What do you guys think? Please let me know in the comments. I hope you'll join Melanie Thompson, Marlene of the Buffalo Check Chicks, Mari Keys Happy Home Decor, and myself, Antoinette, on Monday, October 25th at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We are all working really, really hard to bring some great Halloween decorating to you when we present our Halloween home tours. I think you'll be pleased. I hope you will. Please don't miss it.